Hey there, VCHHD students. My name is Andy. I'm a VC Health and Human Development teacher. In this short video, we're going to look at common mistakes to avoid in Unit 4 Area Study 1, and that's obviously relevant to Unit 4 in the 2025 plus HHD study zone. Just a reminder before we jump into this video, there's a range of ways to engage with Health Resources Hub. If you're on YouTube at the moment, you can subscribe with the button in the bottom corner of the video there to our YouTube channel. That means you'll get alerts to all of our new videos as they come out across the year. We've also got our website, the hih.net.au, where there's opportunities for HHD teachers and students and that's being updated regularly. Got our Instagram, TikTok and Facebook pages where you can follow us and get alerts to our new videos and other opportunities or SAC and exam tips and advice. And also our email info at thih.net.au if you'd like to get in touch. So I'm going to go through five different examples of common mistakes to avoid that are relevant to Unit 4 Area Study 1. A lot of these I've mentioned in previous videos, but this is a nice, succinct way of looking at some of these common mistakes to avoid. So the first one is forgetting to make meaningful links to human development phrases when there's a question that's asking about how something might impact on human development. So in a previous video, we broke down okay, human development in a lot of detail, so I'm not going to go through it in too much detail here, but just keep in mind that if there is a question that's asking how something can influence or impact on human development, then you need to not only mention one or more of the phrases that are from the human development definition, you can see some of those are included there, such as expanding people's choices or enhancing people's capabilities, but these need to be meaningful links. So you can't just string these phrases together without making meaningful links. And so, for example, if it was asking how, say, something like access to education could have an impact impact on human development, then you can talk about how if individuals have access to education, it's more likely to enhance their capabilities, such as developing their literacy and numeracy skills. So these links need to be meaningful. You can't just string all of these phrases together. So if you'd like to know about that in more detail, go back and have a look at our previous video. Number two is forgetting to reference the indicators when a question refers to the Human Development Index. So in a previous video, we've also looked at the Human Development Index, and you'll know hopefully that's made up of three dimensions and four indicators, and they're put together, the indicators particularly, data from different countries into a calculation that comes out with a value between zero and one, which is the HDI, the Human Development Index. So often you'll see questions that refer to perhaps two countries, okay, that have different Human Development Index values and ask students to outline what might have contributed to these differences. So remember to always refer back to one or more of the indicators in an answer to a question like this, because it's those values from the indicators that are combined into that calculation to work out, okay, the HDI. So some students forget to refer back to specific indicators as part of their answer to a question like that, and that's where they lose marks. So you can see those four indicators there. So once again, go back and have a look at a previous video that we've done, and there's some more detailed examples of those. Number three is forgetting to demonstrate the link between a factor and a health condition. So in Unit 4, okay, Area Study 1, you would have covered the factors, access to safe water, sanitation, poverty, and the different types of discrimination. And so what you're often expected to do is be able to link okay, these factors to health conditions, because a question might ask how a particular factor might have an impact on something like health status or human development. And so, for example, if you're linking access to safe water to a health condition, you can't just say that, uh, say, a lack of access to safe water means people develop conditions like cholera. You need a linking sentence. And so that would be something like lack of access to safe water means people might be consuming contaminated or dirty water that contains bacteria or pathogens, which therefore can contribute okay, to these infectious diseases such as cholera. So those linking sentences, okay, from the factors to the health conditions are often left out by students and it means there's not enough detail in their answer to achieve full marks. So you should practice making links between the different factors and health conditions so that you can then link on to things like how it could impact on health status or human development. So that's something to keep in mind too. Just a reminder, if you're not aware, I'm running four HHD exam revision lectures this year for the organization ACE, and so they're available to book currently if you head to book.acevc.com. You'll see the dates and times there. They're all held online, and if you book a spot, you'll get set, set a set of notes in the post. You can also bundle that together with the revision questions book that I've worked on with ACE this year, which got over 500 marks worth of practice questions, etc. There's currently a sale on for the early bird period. So if you head to book.acevc.com, you can save on the cost of some of those tickets before they head back to the full price. So you might want to head there and check that out. Number four, forgetting to link populations to populations when a question references global or globally. 
So in unit four, okay, we're often looking beyond the individual to how something might have an impact on global health or global human development. And so you can see there the VCAA has released Frequently Asked Questions document, which outlines that when students are faced with the term globally or the global context, they're expected to consider and refer to the health and human development impact on many people worldwide, not just an individual. So that means that when you're answering a question that perhaps is referring to, say, um, health and wellbeing globally or human development, okay, globally, you need to make sure in your answer you're referencing, okay, either worldwide or globally to show that your answer is looking beyond the individual and is relating to the impact on populations across the world to make sure that you're appropriately answering a question for that global or globally context. Number five is forgetting to reference an ongoing basis or over time or into the future when a question asks about sustainability. So you probably looked at sustainability and the three different dimensions of sustainability and I know that just generally it refers to meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. So essentially sustainability is talking about now and into the future. So when you are answering questions that are related to sustainability, you need to ensure that you're including, okay, some of those phrases as part of your answer to show that you understand that concept means not only meeting our needs today in the current generations, but also in future generations. So including phrases like into the future or on an ongoing basis, for example, if you're referring to something like access to education, you'd be talking about people having access to education now, but also into the future or an ongoing basis, then it shows that your answer is appropriately referencing sustainability. So don't forget to include some of those phrases as part of your answers to questions about sustainability. Okay, hope you found that useful. As I mentioned earlier, there is this ACED revisions questions book, so HHD that I've worked on this year. So if you're looking for some practice questions as well as some um, sample answers and a full trial exam and a chapter on extended response questions, you can head to book.acevc.com and either order an individual copy or bundle that together with an exam revision lecture for the end of the year. Okay, thanks so much.